All right, <clears throat> I am going to uh, just put together this YouTube video uh, for everybody that's messaged. Um, I just don't have time to FaceTime everyone. Um, I'll do a quick walk around here. You can obviously see this typical northern rust in spots. Uh, that is a newer battery. Some more rust there down to that corner and then under here when we bought it we sprayed this entire thing you can see oh, it's rusty there's just surface rust on everything on this bed um, so we sprayed everything uh, it does have airbags um, here's the fill up put about 60 psi and it lifts this up about three inches um, we just never Never do it, but I'll take it for a quick drive and then come back and uh, show that everything operates, works. This is probably the worst of the rust here where it's come through. We were originally just going to take some steel plating and put it across here, but... Side there. Uh, load E tires on there. Anyways take it for a spin and then I don't know if that the gas cap is just loose but some of you guys are asking I was telling you there's that indicator light for the gas cap not sealing um, I don't know uh, but the interior obviously is I don't know, 14 years old or so. It's got some cracks here. Old seat. It's like somebody ripped up the carpet here. Um, it's not all that great. It does have a flashing light up top there. But uh, I'll take this for a spin in my neighborhood. Um, store yard signs back here. Pump up sprayers, fire extinguisher. There's a uh, power windows, power mirrors, door locks. Um, but, uh, yeah, right now we're getting about 9.3 miles per gallon. Of course, we're almost always hauling about 300 gallons of water and you know, at least 50 gallons of bleach. Although I just pulled all the bleach out of the uh, tank this week. It does have the wide mirrors on, which I really like. So it drives nice. It's pretty darn quiet. It's got a CD player. It's fancy. Okay, dokie. So obviously drives does fine. It's a uh, one-ton single axle. Wish they didn't make a ton of those. Um, <laughs> got my injector mixing reminders. All right. Now, there are a couple keys for this, and then here's for the uh, roof pump. So, all right. Let's take a look outside. flashy light there so uh, like I said obviously you know there's there's rust in these spots that just northern trucks do but a 325 leg tank um, got all the stuff plumbed in we didn't use any weird bung holes or whatever I just uh, put the holes in there heated it up and they're in there by compression um, Anyways, quick go uh, walk around here. Uh, we use Apple Wash, and I'll show you there. Uh, 35 gallon tank. I just have a single line running in there with a filter 
in there. A uh, place for your sandwich board. Um, shut off for water and then you can get, just kind of tuck this back here, just clean water. I think this is either a 12 or a 14 gallon uh, tank. If I were keeping this, I'd probably put a neck on here because sometimes these seals I feel like can get water in them. Um, we've had that happen last year on, a, on another one. Uh, all these king reels, this one's actually only been on here for a couple weeks. Um, they're great. I like them. Um, let's see. Down here we've got storage. It's our marine battery. Uh, just stick necks. I'm gonna take this out. So let me get some of this stuff fired up. Um, now I do have a shut off for all the electric back there so all the reels uh 12 volt pump pressure washer you just have to turn this to the right and then that turns on power to everything so that way nobody's messing with the reels at night or whatever So I guess first off uh, on the the roof pump here, uh, shoot, I don't have a J-rod on here, but um, we've got this on remote, so. Um, of course, my bleach tank is empty, so it's gonna start pulling up uh, air bubbles if I turn that, but actually, I'll just throw water through there. Anyways, no leaks in this. Um, let's see if I can. Turn this on. See. Um, so that's generally how we kind of gauge where we want our, um, our our apple wash at. It's usually about right there. It comes out nice and pink. Um, even when we're doing roofs. Um, so we've got our bleach, apple wash, water. This is a Rimco, seven gallon, 60 PSI. Um, we've had several of those. And then I always keep spare uh, relays that are on the back. I always keep those because they just go bad. But this is just one of those uh, Amazon things. Anyways, so that's the roof pump. Um, I should probably flush this out. It takes a while to get all that soap out of there, obviously. So I'm just going to leave that on. Uh, reels obviously work. Flush all that pink out. Uh, now, as far as the pressure washer goes, um, I've got this set up with the uh, Flow Pro here in a stainless steel check valve, um, which is a little bit different from just those little ones with the, the ball and spring. Um, so we have this teed to where our bleach is coming in and our uh, apple wash is coming in. We've got check valves, we've got shut offs, so whenever we're uh, rinsing. So I like to have the check valves and everything. And don't want anything, you know, coming back in. There we go. Um, so this one is not hooked up. Uh, these didn't pull bleach strong enough, so I disconnected that. But for Apple Wash, it's great for metering that out. So when I'm downstreaming, uh, turn Apple Wash mix all the way over. That little thing is just cracked open a quarter turn. It looks just enough soap. Just enough soap come through then when we're ready to um, to flush out at the end of the day we just turn it to water rinse and that will just pull water in and then we shut off our bleach there so it's just gonna pull water through and rinse everything real good um, fire up the pressure washer here of course there's the uh, whisper wash 19 inch classic 
Now I do have this plumbed through the reel, but 99% uh, of the time we don't run it through the reel um, if we need to because we've got, uh, I think this has 250 feet total on it. Um, I just, I don't know. I feel better not going through the reel. So a lot of times we just pull off if we want uh, 100, 150, 200. Sorry for this long video. All right. Oh, almost there. I am a little under the weather. There we go. Let me set this down for a sec. Oh, just soaked everything. All right. Oh, gosh. Okay. Anyway, so a lot of times we're just gonna, where this is coming through the, the bypass here, it would ordinarily go into here. We'll just jump it out here and uh, jump off this. If you're running through the hose and you don't have everything pulled off, it can restrict and uh, just do all kinds of funky stuff. Let's make sure our right ball valve's shut. <laughs> So right now, on the Flow Pro, that's on rinse. So. Then. few moments there we go now we're getting soap takes a minute for it to be uh, pink there we go now we're getting our apple wash yeah so you can see how fast uh, I think we timed it one time we can soap a small house in four minutes Rinsing, of course, take a while. All right. Don't judge that. I haven't cleaned it. All right. Get some of this apple wash out, hopefully. Yes, this is my house, so. Anyway, so uh, this is just 100 feet of line on here, so already we've got just water coming out. I think this is a 25. What tip is this? Oh, I can't read it. 2540 tip. All right, let me just get some of this off. Show you a little bit of height on this. Uh, let's see. Gosh, I don't know if you can even see. So it shoots plenty good up to three stories. Um. So everything works great on that pressure washer. Oh. 
much that's hard to do with one hand. Uh, surface cleaner. I say it works. This is a four tip. Um, I think those are 20, 25, 025s on those. Um, that's the same thing we run on our eight gallon and it does great on the, the 10. Uh, but it's super fast for cleaning concrete. So uh, yeah, everything works as it should. Um, I don't have my other truck here, but we're gonna build another cab over uh, Fuso. All right, I think that's plenty good. I like to have these uh, stainless shutoffs on these. Um, this will have a J-Rod with it. I just must have put it on the other truck. Um, let's see what other details. Um, if you added a second pressure washer to this, there is a second uh, fuel line coming off here, but I have this running, protecting it underneath this uh, aluminum. Goes through and then your uh, filter. Oh, I can't think of anything else. Um, reason to put these clear um, pipes on here is so that you can catch any air bubbles so you can see if it's coming from your water um, wherever you kind of diagnose a lot of times you know you'll get a split in your your check valve and it's just really nice to be able to figure out exactly where that's at um, there's a view up top here um, got this marked at 90 and 80 we always almost always would fill it right up to 90 that's our local bulk bleach place would let us um, all the tanks are labeled I think there's a water non potable water sticker somewhere on that um, but yeah the flow pro here um, Judd West he will help anybody figure out and how to properly run that uh, they're just awesome um, da -da 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 -da, what else Oh yeah, 24 foot ladder. It's just bungeed on there. I just welded these, this rack uh, together. It's nothing fancy, but helps us, helped us back when we needed it. Anyways, uh, there she is. It's a great truck. My wife thinks I'm, I'm dumb for listing it for the price I put it at, but oh well is what it is. Uh, tires are in decent shape. Um, if I were keeping this, I would probably get rid of these Dura tracks. I mean, a great tread, but I'd rather just have like a, a road tires. So, something that's just standard tire. I don't know. I think it looks a little goofy on a two wheel drive truck, but um, yeah, if you got any questions, uh, like I said, I've got about 40 people that have messaged, and I think six or seven now that have said, hey, I'll take it. Um, but you know how that is. Anyways, uh, thanks, guys.